engineer and businessman Soichiro Honda, from Japan, is credited with founding Honda, one of the most well-known automakers in the world. It was founded in 1946, and Soichiro oversaw its growth from a little wooden shack producing bicycles to the large vehicle and motorbike manufacturer we are all familiar with today. As a young man, Honda served as an apprentice for a man named Yuzo Sakakibara, who taught him a lot about company management and the engineering of cars and motorcycles. His instruction from Yuzo would provide the groundwork for the kind of man Honda would grow up to be. So Ichiro experienced a period of enormous influence during which he learned a great deal about a wide range of automobiles. He would soon apply this experience to great effect as he worked to establish his own company. Despite some initial technical difficulties, Honda would further his understanding of metallurgy at university, enabling him to supply his clients with high-quality parts. His factory would be destroyed by bombs during World War II, and an earthquake the following year would eventually put an end to his initial business attempt. Honda would utilize the money from selling what was left of it to Toyota to form Honda and create some of the most recognizable motorcycles in history. The business would continue to prosper and eventually rank among the most recognizable car brands worldwide. 1. Beginnings of Soichiro Honda On November 17, 1906, in Kamiya Village, Iowata County, Shizuoka Prefecture, Soichiro Honda was born. His parents, Gihei and Mika Honda, raised him as their eldest child. His mother was a talented weaver, and Gihei was a competent blacksmith. Despite his family's relative poverty, Soichiro had a joyful upbringing. His parents developed a strong sense of dignity and respect in young Soichiro by being adamant about the necessity for fundamental discipline. In part because of his upbringing, Honda would learn to detest annoying people and value timeliness highly. Additionally, Honda inherited his father's manual dexterity and mechanical curiosity. Early in Honda's life, bicycles in Japan were starting to gain a lot of popularity. As more and more clients started asking his father to fix their computers, he saw an opportunity and decided to start his own repair business. Using his blacksmithing abilities and openness to learning, he rapidly learned the fundamentals of repairing used bicycles and reselling them for profit. His company gained a reputation as the neighborhood's top bicycle shop as of this point. Soichiro spent a lot of his childhood assisting his father in running his bicycle repair shop. Honda wasn't very interested in conventional education. His school frequently gave students grade reports to present their parents, in order to demonstrate that the child's parents had truly read the document. These had to be delivered back to the school with a family seal. Soichiro Honda, displaying a glimpse of the man he would become, fashion, his family's seal into a stamp using an old rubber bicycle pedal cover. He immediately meticulously forged the family seals of his classmates, offering the same service. Honda was unfortunately ignorant at the time that stamps had to be reversed, thus this had gone a little too far, and the complete fraud was discovered. Although several of his friends' family crests were unsymmetrical, when written vertically, his was not an issue. Two. Honda became fascinated with cars at a young age. Even as a young child, Honda was enthralled by automobiles. Later, he would recollect that the first car he ever saw in his village had an oily scent that he would never forget. He even once rode one of his father's bicycles to see pilot Art Smith demonstrate his planes, which solidified his passion for engineering and creativity. In 1922, just before graduating from high school, Soichiro Honda spotted an advertisement for Tokyo Art Shokai, a business that provided auto maintenance services, manufacture and repair of automobiles, 
motorcycles, and gasoline engines was the slogan of the advertisement. Honda also observed that this business had placed numerous advertisements in magazines for cars and bicycles. So Ichiro deduced that Art Shokia must be among the best vehicle repair businesses in Tokyo and that many young men must be anxious to begin apprenticeships there. So Ichiro made the decision that he needed to start working for them right away. So, in 1922, at the age of 15, he made the decision to leave his home and travel to Tokyo in order to work as an apprentice in an art shokai garage in the Yushima district of Honga. Employment at this time was significantly different from what we take for granted today. Junior employees were given board, lodging, and pocket money but did not receive any sort of formal pay. Soichiro's stay at Art Shokai had a significant impact on him and would continue to do so throughout most of his adult life. 3. Discovered as Honda, owner of Art Shokai, Yuzo Sakakabara, recognized the young Honda's talent right away. Yuzo would teach Honda a lot about engineering and business. Sakakabara was the ideal instructor because he was a successful businessman and engineer. Along with knowing how to fix things, he was also adept at more difficult tasks like making pistons. Motorcycles and cars were among the things Sakakabara repaired. These modes of conveyance could only be owned by a relatively small social stratum in Japan at the time. The majority of the cars were likewise imported. There were a lot of big and little automakers at this time, producing anything from high-quality mass-produced cars to specialized, small-run models. For the young Honda, who would swiftly become familiar with a variety of cars and motorcycles, Art Shokai served as a literal crucible of fire. Honda's desire to learn and hunger for information made Art Shokai the perfect place for him to complete his apprenticeship at the time. Soichiro put a lot of effort into expanding and deepening his knowledge of vehicle engineering. In fact, he was so proficient that he astounded many of his classmates with it. The old man learned so much by performing real work with real machines when he was an apprentice at Art Shokai and when he was the manager of the branch in Hamamatsu, remarked Kawashima. Not only did he possess theoretical understanding, but he was also an expert in a variety of actual processes, including welding and forging. Those of us who had just read about the topic in academic books simply couldn't compete. He then went back home and, at the young age of 22, opened his own auto repair shop in 1928. 4. Honda loved racing. Soichiro's interest in motorsports was encouraged by Sakakabara while he was an employee at Art Shokai. This was a pastime that was popular in Japan for a very long period, going all the way back to the Taisho era's early years between 1912 and 1926. This business, which began with motorcycle racing, would swiftly develop to include full-scale vehicle racing as early as the 1920s. With Japanese auto enthusiasts fully aware of other international events like the Isle of Man Tourist Trophy TT, as well as the Grand Prix and Le Mans races, this became a very popular sport in that country. Around 1923, Sakakabara made the decision to start producing race cars their first race car had a used Daimler engine and was dubbed the Art Daimler. The Curtis was their second effort. This model is still on display and remains in operation at the Honda Collection Hall. The Curtis was constructed utilizing a used Curtis Jenny A1 biplane engine that was mounted to an American Mitchell car's chassis. The Curtis competed in its inaugural race at the 5th Japanese Automobile Competition on November 23, 1924. With Shinichi Sakakabara behind the wheel and Soichiro Honda serving as the assisting engineer, it even achieved an astounding triumph. The 17-year-old Honda never lost his passion for motorsports as a result of that encounter. Honda was drafted into the military when he turned 20 years old. He was diagnosed with color blindness at the medical, and as a result, was exempt from serving in the military. 5. Honda gets his own workshop. After successfully completing his apprenticeship in 1928, Honda established his own Art Shokai location in Hamamatsu. He would be the sole trainee of Sakakabara to do this. At age 21, Soichiro Honda utilized all of his education and experience to improve the shop's capabilities far beyond basic auto maintenance. He would subsequently become known as Edison of Hamamatsu, thanks to his efforts. The branch's workforce had increased from 1 to about 30 by the middle of the 1930s. Saki, Soichiro's wife, had also joined the business to assist with management. 
In reality, the union took place in October of the same year. She assisted by preparing meals for the live-in employees and by maintaining correct and up-to-date accounting records. When Honda was racing the Hamamatsu race car at the Tamagawa Speedway in June 1936, a serious accident occurred. He was unable to avoid a collision with another racer who was leaving the pits at a high rate of speed. Honda was catapulted clear of the car when his car rolled. Fortunately for everyone concerned, he did not get any serious wounds, although his younger brother, the mechanic Benjiro, did suffer a spine fracture. Despite the incident, Soichiro competed in a different race in the following October. 6. Soichiro begins working odd jobs. With some pressure from his family, he finally ended his racing career after the 1936 season. Honda would subsequently remark, I had to give it up when my wife cried and begged me to quit. But his wife offered a slightly different account of what had happened. Did I say something that caused him to stop? I believe his father's sermon helped him make up his decision. The world and Japan would undergo a significant change starting the following year. With the outbreak of war with China in 1937 and their subsequent engagement in the Second World War, Japan would write a sad chapter in its history. Racing was prohibited during this pretended national emergency, which the reigning administrations created. During the war years, many other motorsports were exterminated. Honda started to grow impatient with repairs just around the time of his accident in 1936. To transition into production, he started creating planes. For this goal, he initially tried to divide the Hamamatsu branch into a separate corporation but ran into opposition from Art Shokai stockholders. At first, he had hoped to start producing piston rings. Investors were reluctant to take a chance on starting what they perceived to be an unneeded enterprise because they could see that the current workload and orders from repair work were generating a very solid cash flow. Despite the investors' disapproval, Honda remained adamant about entering the manufacturing sector. Shichiro Kato, a friend, and he made the decision to form their own company specifically for this. As a result, Kato served as president when Toaki Seiko Heavy Industry, now known as Tokai Seiki, was created. 7. Potential may be seen in Honda's new business. The Art Piston Ring Research Center was founded after both partners put themselves into the business. Honda would put in a lot of effort here, working at Art Shokai by day and designing piston rings at night. But things did not go well for their business. Honda had to enroll as a part-time student at Hamamatsu Industrial Institute, now the Faculty of Engineering at Shizuoka University, in order to advance his knowledge of metallurgy as a result of a string of technical setbacks. Soichiro Honda worked and studied hard over the following few years until he made a breakthrough in 1939. Confident in their design, he resigned from his post at Art Shokai and appointed his trainees to operate the branch, with Tokai Seiki serving as president. Piston production started in earnest, although there were still problems with the product. This time, rather than the design, the difficulties were on the production technique. Toyota Motor Company Limited had a supply order with Honda and his partner at the time. Only three of the 50 items they had sent them for quality control fulfilled their strict requirements. Honda spent the following few years studying and expanding his industrial skills by traveling to colleges and steelmaking facilities around Japan. After serving his time in the military, he had enough expertise of the sector to enhance his own mass production method and supply Toyota and the Nakajima Aircraft Company with high-quality components. Orders started to flood in, and the business eventually grew to employ 2,000 people at its peak. 8. The war ruins Honda's ambitions for the future. Any expectations Honda had for the future of his company were figuratively destroyed on December 7, 1941, when Japan officially entered World War II. The Japanese Ministry of Munitions was given direct command and control of Tokai Seiki. In 1942, Toyota was given 40% of the stock of the business, and Honda was demoted from president to senior managing director. As they were enlisted for military duty, many men in the workforce started to leave as well. The majority of female workers also started out as voluntary corps members, working at the factory to support the war effort. In an effort to make the production process easier for the relatively inexperienced volunteers, Honda assisted with the machine calibration and developed automated techniques for producing piston rings, which is their major product. 
1944, as airstrikes increased in frequency, it was clear that Japan was about to lose the war. A direct hit from a B-29 bomber raid virtually flattened Hamamatsu, and Tokai Seiki's Yamashita plant was obliterated. When the Makawa district was devastated by the Nankai earthquake in January 1945 and the Amata plant likewise fell, the corporation also experienced another catastrophe. The destinies of both Japan and Honda were about to undergo a radical transformation in the wake of Nagasaki and Hiroshima as well as the country's formal surrender in August 1945. 9. Honda Motor Company Limited. Tokau Seiki's salvageable parts were sold by Honda to Toyota at the end of World War II for around 450,000. In 1946, he established the Honda Technical Research Institute with the money from the sale. The Type A, Honda's first powered bicycle, entered manufacturing in 1948. Honda's first mass-produced engine powered this motorcycle, which was available for purchase until 1951. The Type D, Honda's first real motorbike, was introduced in 1949. This motorcycle had a two-stroke, 96cc, 3hp, 2.2 kilowatts, pressed steel frame and would go on to become the first model in the dream line of motorbikes. The Type A and Type D versions are both included in the Society of Automotive Engineers of Japan's list of 240 landmarks of Japanese automotive technology. Soichiro Honda, the company's president, would grow it into a multi-billion dollar global conglomerate known for its best-selling motorbikes. Honda's bikes eventually outsell Triumph and Harley-Davidson in their native countries because to the company's expertise in engineering and marketing. The next year, Honda reconnected with Takeo Fujisawa, who he had previously known from his time as Nakajima Aircraft Company's piston ring supplier. In 1959, the first Honda Motorcycles dealership in the United States was established. The company's president, Soichiro Honda, would hold that position until his retirement in 1973. He continued to serve as a director of the business after this point and was eventually named Supreme Advisor in 1983. He was referred to as the Japanese Henry Ford by People magazine, who included him on its list of the 25 most intriguing people of the year for 1980. Honda kept himself busy in retirement by doing work for the Honda Foundation. 10. Later decades, even at their old years, Soichiro Honda and his wife both had private pilot certificates. In his latter years, he also enjoyed skiing, hang gliding, and hot air ballooning. At the age of 77, he was a very accomplished artist. It was agreed upon by Honda and Takeo Fujisawa that they would never compel their sons to join their business. In order to do this, Hirotoshi Honda, the father, founded Mugen Motorsports and rose to the position of CEO. Mugen Motorsports was a tuner for Honda cars that also produced unique racing cars. In 1982, the American Society of Mechanical Engineers ASME, created the Soichiro Honda Medal to honor his outstanding contributions to engineering. This medal is given in recognition of exceptional performance or noteworthy contributions to engineering in the area of personal transportation. 1989 saw Honda's induction into the Automotive Hall of Fame, which is close to Detroit. Liver failure caused Soichiro Honda's death on August 5, 1991. After his passing, he was given the senior third position in the precedence list and made a grand cordon of the Order of the Rising Sun.